Hey everybody, I'm Eric Norton. That's Matt Bible, and I know what you're thinking. Why is Grimace out of McDonald's opening boxes? I'm gonna tell you why. Because we've got the three Stooges here today. Series yes. th two? Series two. All right, from R.R. Clarks, right? Yep. R.R. Parks. R.R. Parks. I'm sorry, Mr. Parks. Freudian slip, but it, it, we'll let you think of a Clark for you. I am. I'm, I'm looking at this, I'm, I'm going, that looks a lot like Clark. All right, so with, with the R.R. Parks uh, stuff, we've got the usual fanfare. We've got the poster in the top. A lot of box toppers for, for this stuff, which is really a good thing. It's a lot of extras for people to grab onto. So we got a poster. As you can see, the Series 2 looks like it has a Christmas theme. And uh, this here is just basically, it looks like a, an ad insert postcard that advertises the free promo cards. And of course, we've got the the free promo cards uh, inserted in the top. Whoa, that's uh, that looks like a little bit like Samuel Beckett's. Uh, <laughs> that's a weird one. Yeah, it's a little bit. That's the inside of the box there. Um, and look at all these promos, man. You've got oh look at this. We've got a full. It looks like a full uh, promo set, or I guess they're promos of the, the whole bunch, except for. Curly Joe's not getting any love, but we got Curly, Mo, Larry, and Shemp all together. And uh, yeah, we got a Christmas theme. I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing all this. But uh, yeah, the usual fanfare, some advertising promo cards for other other uh, products that uh, that um, that R. Parks is doing. Here's the Basil Wolfson Barflies uh, product. Um, so Sweet. let's go ahead and see you're already. Marty, get into it. Right? Uh, Christine McIntyre, first off the pot. That little insert set there. Christmas theme indeed. Very famous scene from the Three Stooges. As they are dressed like Santa, looking at the tree. <laughs> and are you married or happy? Three Stooges. Again, uh, this is 10 packs. I'm sorry, 36 packs, 10, 10 packs per card, mm -hmm. per pack. Wow, 10 cards per pack. I can talk today, I promise, folks. Let me see um, the box real quick, um, Eric. We forgot to show the last time. No, I showed the, I showed the inside. Showed yeah, we're good. We're good. I was rambling on about the box toppers, so I must have missed that part. These are not as heavily glued as they were last time. Here's a nice uh, artwork of Elisabeta Stoinich and a Shemp. Some more of Samoa. I'm going to be careful they don't run into the Usos. Which I will be doing that tomorrow. Ah, here we go. We got or the next guys. week, whenever yeah. you're watching this. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the, uh, looks like Shemp, uh, the Three Stooges are all dressed up in their they're penguin outfits. This there is definitely a Christmas theme here. Yep. Awesome. But the series two product runs concurrently with the series one and and, and, it, and it continues on into series three and four and five, etc. Where the numbering where series one leaves off, series two begins. This just picks right back up. Yep. And it's one big set. Awesome. Three trouble doers. And no, that is not a picture of me, Matt, and the cameraman. No. The artwork is a little different. I like these this in series two. Here's Larry. <laughs> and the man, that is a scary. That's a scary looking depiction of Larry, man. Yes. Here and the puzzle cards are back. Portrait of Billy Gilbert. I like the puzzle cards. Not, <laughs> not in this. The, you, did you ever put one of those old baseball puzzle card, puzzle sets together? Yeah. That was. Those were always horrible. <laughs> I'm too young to die. Too young and too handsome. Well, I'm too young. <laughs> it, it, it's it's uh, Curly playing the ukulele. It looks like, and Larry and Mo just, just look like they're giving him the, the stank eye. Like, what are you, what are you doing, man? Come on. And this is the result of that, for having them suffer through playing the ukulele. They're, they're taking a wrench or something and sticking it in Larry, uh, Curly's ear. <laughs> $500, hmm, that's a million. 
Right. They would always bring up some some pretty funny lines sometimes. <laughs> He's done. Oh my goodness. I gotta show this one because it's both politically incorrect, but it also is making fun of one of the worst human beings that's ever lived. There's all three of them. Dressed as he who should not be named. I think you can figure out who that who I'm talking about. Charlie Chaplin? Uh well, no. A little close. <laughs> but yeah, that was what called Higher Than a Kite. <laughs> Higher than a kite. Fittingly. <laughs> I would like to give Mary. Mc, wow, McCary Cladu. Merry Christmas from the Stooges. She is a fine artist. That is a nice. Uh, that is a nice chrome Christmas insert. Um, I, I I think that is that that's currently dressed as Santa Claus, and he's got like uh, what do you call those things? What are those things called? You know the they they. Um, Help with the fireplace. Yeah, you use, you use them to start a fire. I just can't think of the name of them. I'm sorry, this is the modern age, but we just have gas logs. Yes, a, a, <laughs> a English scholar cannot think of what that is. It's, it's that know. Ohio State University uh, education you got there. If you would have went to Michigan, you'd be able to know what oh. it was. How dare you. <laughs> Hear no evil, see no evil, do no, speak no evil. So, what else we got here? More Christmas, Christmassy stuff. There you go. There's the Stooges with the beards on. Don't you know it's bad etiquette to reach in front of a person when said person is trying to snag a morsel of food, <laughs> or if that person double dipped his chip? See another Seinfeld reference here on this video as well. We had one in the last video. We'll throw in here. So I believe there are a lot of connections between Seinfeld and the Three Stooges, believe it or not. I believe so. If you watch episodes of Seinfeld, you'll notice it. <laughs> it's not just because George Costanza looks like Larry Fine. Here's an Emil Sitka portrait. Let's try to... There we go. Oh. These are your little... These packaging, man. Series 1 was... Blue, this one, these are even tighter. But it's all about safety, right, folks? Every time you think you weaken a nation. What's the matter, door? There's another Christmas card. The three guys. Alrighty. Republican? Nah, I'm a Democrat. Not me. I'm a pedestrian. <laughs> we need that one for uh, the debates. I just realized it's for election time, eh? I just realized it's it's April first today. It is April Fools. A very appropriate day to be opening. Yeah, this. it is a very appropriate day to be doing the Three Stooges stuff. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What are you, a wise guy? A wise guy. There's the Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the, the transliterated German at the bottom. I don't even know if it's German. It might just be a bunch of hullabaloo they, they stuck at the bottom. But Hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. It's an official language. Back 35 years ago. Hello, hello. I think it was a derivative of Yiddish. I'm it's a sure. Yiddish. It might be. I, I, I don't know. I'd have to consult with my... Consult with any of my descendants or my friends about that one, but... Man. Yeah, I'm having difficulties getting this one up. Get, getting this one open. I, I just don't want to damage the cards. Right. Pulling them out There's there. Curly. Looking just as weird as Larry did. Another piece of the puzzle. What's the matter door? What's the matter door? <laughs> Again, another one of those crazy situations where <laughs> they end up, I'm guessing they end up bullfighting or something. 
running with the bowls or another one of those PC things. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uncivil warbirds. Wiley always with the most attractive woman possible. I don't know. I missed Here we my go. Error. Here's back from the front. And I'm guessing that has to do with the, the bullfighting too. Although, I will say Curly looks a little bit like uh, Chef Paul Prudhoe or Dom DeLuise, which take your choice. They're pretty much identical twins. He's got the beret on. He's got the striped. I actually, when I wear, when I wear a, a golf hat, I actually look like a skinny Dom DeLuise. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get Norm MacDonald to be Burt Reynolds and company you on many adventures. She looks like a million. Aw, oh, she can't be that old. No way to talk about your grandmother. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we got. Winding down here on my packs. Is this work in competent hands? Certainly. We're all incompetent. Certainly. Certainly. Do you remember there was a popular song that came back in the 80s regarding the Three Stooges? Do you remember I do not know. The Curly Shuffle? <laughs> wow. Do you remember that? Yeah. It, I do not. I don't remember the Curly Shuffle. Curly Shuffle, man. Uh, when you get back to your desk, you'll have to go on YouTube and watch it. Was it the featured song on Amadeus? Uh, I don't know. It could be. <laughs> They always used to play it. And believe it or not, I think they played it on MTV, if I'm not mistaken, Ooh, once in a while. Back when MTV was MTV. Okay. There you go. There's, oh, that's, there's, a, that's a sight when you open, just, <laughs> you open the car in the back and that's what you get. There's Mo getting his head pancake by the guys. I'm guessing that they thought he was like a monster or something scary. And they just accidentally did it. And I'm sure that they felt the receive. They were on the receiving end of getting their heads squashed after he got through the door. Joe Besser, very scary picture of Joe Besser. He kind of, kind of looks like Marty Feldman in that yeah. picture. He does, doesn't he? Igor, yeah, <laughs> really young Frankenstein. Ah, uh, see, we're just bringing. This is what our our parks does, man. It brings all the the vintage. Uh, the vintage references from all the, the stuff that, you know, kids who were born, uh, I don't know, in the year 2000 will not get. Is there a better dance scene in a movie than the Young Frankenstein dance scene? Oh, the, the put on the Ritz? Yeah, put on the Ritz. That was great. That was fantastic. Thank you, Gene Wilder. Here's my first puzzle card. <laughs> Curly's in a situation with a couple of nurses. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Um... But it is hard to tell. What Christmas guys. card there. You're getting slapped. Have you got any puzzle cards yet? I've gotten the other two, actually. Oh, so you got the other two? Yeah. I got two more packs left. Uh, I got a lot. Yeah, I got a lot. I, well, I'll catch up. If anything, all three of the other two. Dear Mr. Jack, look at the way he spells Jack. J E R K. Yeah, I'll slide a couple of those over to you. Here's uh, Idiots Deluxe. No, it is not Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. It's the three stooges still. That box break is coming, though, in the, yes. in the future, I'm in the near future. of uh, Box Busters. Um, so, Thank you, Mr. Slipka. Yes, indeed. Well, I got three of these right in a row, man. Well, you got them in a row, huh? Well, I mean... Is the sun up there? I don't know. I'm a stranger in town. I'll tell you what, they know how to package them. Yes, they do. <laughs> they care about your card quality. Here's Doretta. All right. 
round and third here. Yeah. Trying to get home. Come on, Jackie. Oh, that doesn't look safe at all. They stooge to Congo. Conga. They, they stooge to Conga. It doesn't matter. They're working on power lines. That's a situation that you never <laughs> want uh, yeah. to see. <laughs> that would be the equivalent of my great aunt Miriam up and <laughs> just working on the power lines. There you go. There's the Stooges when they gang up on a guy that's probably giving them a hard time. And Antiques made while you wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of like the card industry sometimes, yeah. isn't it? Except from 1986 to 1997. Yep. Oh, those were some fun times too, man. Kevin Bass, anyone? Loco, <laughs> Loco boy makes good. <laughs> Yeah, these are something else. I thought that was Dr. Smith there for a second from Lost in Space, but the, it turns out it's not. It's not Dr. Smith? No, it looks like it. Look, it looks a lot like Jonathan Harris. All right, last pack. You, go, you do the honor, sir. Yes, I'll indeed. put this out here. The honors. There's now the Series 1 box break that we just did. It was, uh, as Matt mentioned earlier, it's a series two is just going to continuation of it. So all the numbering is going to be the same, and it's really interesting. There's five five series of these. The fifth is forthcoming. So the oaks on me with explosive blasto powder. What could go wrong with the three stooges and explosive blasto powder? So. That's all the inserts, subsets, things like that from this box mm -hmm. is the from this series rather. You get just a mess of cards. Thirty-six packs, ten cards per pack. You get it. So you're going to get at least one whole set, if not two. Yes, indeed. Right. So yeah, you should get at least a couple base sets out of it. You know, awesome. And, uh, if you're a stooge collector, it's it's definitely very in depth. Through the whole series, they're supposed to cut the whole chronology. They're supposed to cover all 190 some uh, mini movies or whatever that the Stooges did. So wow. that was the whole point of doing the Chronicles. So awesome, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, that's what we think. Why don't you tell us what you think down below? And until next time, I'm Eric. I'm Matt. Just keep yuck 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 yuck. Woo!